Hello fellas, hope you're all fine. Welcome to another tutorial from uh, Internet of Things and designing smart devices, smart uh, things. So let's move on, uh, log into your account, your Tinkercad account. So this is what we do. Firstly, uh, we should design in a virtual environment, then uh, we should find that the component, the physical component, and we can just attach them exactly as we designed in the virtual environment. Log into your account and just create a new circuit. Today, in this video, just uh, we're designing an uh, an automation uh, system. Let's say uh, a device and a smart device for the patients when they write. Uh, when they need something, they should press a button, then the signal will be sent to the nurses and uh, to the doctors. So, uh, this is uh, the question is just I'm typing the question here. Here, the question is design a panic button automation system for in house patients to send messages with the following status uh, assistant, food, and medicine. So, in order to design this, so let's uh, add our components first of all we need an arduino board this is arduino uno r3 this is our blank board just uh, and we need uh, the buttons let's say the panic buttons and before that let's add a bit board since we need some more pins so we are adding this okay and uh, let's add the buttons when ah push button this button is fine i add one here one for the food one for the medicine and one for the assistant This one should be for the assistant and this one should be for okay so now we added our physical components wherever we need it and now let's connect them first of all let's make the connection uh, for the power I connect this 5 voltage to this one and I change the color to Rate and let's adjust them. Okay, and the ground one, I just connect this one to the negative pin. I change the color to black and I am adjusting this one as well. It's good to have some sort of uh, clean work okay so now we are connecting this uh, push buttons to our digital pins here so let's say from pin 7 I connect this one to this one right, so the color is okay for this one the green or yellow any color you like Okay, and from pin 6, I connect this one to this one. I change the color to yellow, orange.
type pin 5 to, for, to this pin for the third button I change the color to purple Okay, so now let's connect uh, the power to each of these buttons. From this one, I connect to this one. I'll change the color to red. And from this pen, I connect to this pen. I change the color to red. Run from this one to this one, the color to red. And so let's add. The uh, resistors as well, it's good for the voltage control. One here, and one here, and one here. Okay, so we are done with the so we have connected everything and uh, let's once check again the final check okay so now let's uh, go for the coding for the programming uh, for example when the patient press uh, this button and the signal should be assistance he's asking or she's asking for the assistance if this presses this button the signal should be fluid and presses uh, if uh, he or she presses this button then the signal should be medicine uh, okay let's uh, click on the code there are some default codes so i just delete them we're going with the blocks when we drag and drop the blocks the codes will be generated automatically i a little bit zoom out and move it to the right actually to the left <laughs> uh, i create new variables uh, actually i need three variables one is uh, variable for button one I need another one. Two variable for button three. We have three variables. So by default, we set the variables one, two, and three. Variable one, the value should be from which pen? From uh, okay, this one is uh, connected to pen seven. If I zoom in, you can see this one is pin 7. Okay, I read digital from pin 7. And variable 2 should be pin 6. Pin 6. And variable 3. Variable 3 should be pin 5. Okay, so each variable uh, get the value from a specific pin and now we are using the if condition to control. So we need three if conditions for each. Okay, I need to add operators here, this one. And variable one. Let's say equals to one. This one variable uh, I need to add operators for each of them. <laughs> so this one is variable one, variable two, and variable three. Equals to one, equals to one. Okay. The first if condition says if variable one is equals to one it means if the first button is pressed then what happened here we can use uh, the serial one print serial monitor and my mouse 
is not going to be perfect. Okay. If the first pattern is placed, then uh, the message should be as is, is, or maybe you can type help. If the second button is pressed, then we can say food, the message should be food. And if the third button is pressed, the message should be, let's say, medicine. Okay, so it is all, just very simple. Uh, once, let's have a review. We have three variables for each button, one variable. The first variable gets its value from pin 7. This is pin 7. The second one gets its value from pin 8, pin 6 and pin 5. And we have added if blocks to control it. The first one is if button 1 equals 1. It means if a button one, uh, the patient is pressing the, this button, then the message should be help, help. He or she is asking for help. The second button is for the food, and the third one is for the uh, medicine. So this is the what we designed in the virtual environment. In the real world, just uh, exactly you need to connect the same way. You need an Arduino board. You need a breadboard, and you can uh, uh, have. You need three uh, push buttons and this things for the wiring and it's exactly follow these uh, steps and copy these codes you need the codes also just uh, when you when you uh, when you drag and drop these blocks the codes will be generated and you can just use exactly these codes in the real world environment okay so now let's uh, see i start simulation i zoom it in and I click on start simulation okay now it is started uh, oh actually I need the serial monitor I click here okay now I press this button first you can see the message is help help if I press the second button you can see the message is food and if I press the third one the message is medicine. You can see it is just working. Okay, thank you very much and see you all in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.